It was 14 minutes of violence, as you would expect. But Gunther defends the Intercontinental Championship, defeating Drew McIntyre by hitting with just about every finish he has in sequence, finishing up with a powerbomb in 1344. Gunther closing in on the Honky Tonk Man's record for Intercontinental title reign. Rachel, we'll start with you on this one. Just another impressive outing by both of those guys. And, and Gunther, again, showing why he's, if he's not the best wrestler in the world, he's certainly in the conversation. Oh, definitely. And they put on a great match together for being two big guys and being able to move and do some of the things that they do. I mean, Drew McIntyre and his kip up alone, his height and his weight, that blows my mind because... I usually only sell the like the smaller guys do that. Um, 31 chops between all of them. That just sounds painful to me. But overall, I thought it was a great match. And Gunther, I'm sorry. uh, He just yeah, he he just is dominant. I don't know who's going to end up beating him. It would be easy to forgive you for pronouncing his name because you watch WWE's programming and they pronounce it six different ways. Michael Cole kept saying Gunther all night. So, yeah, I don't feel too bad. Just wait till William Regal shows back up on TV (laughs) at the end of the year. Who knows how he'll pronounce his name, but it it was just another impressive outing. And again, Mike Gunther just seems like every time he has these big matches and we've seen it even back to his Walter days, it just seems like he brings the violence to a totally different level. His level of storytelling is among the best in, in all the industry. I, to be honest, I'm still amazed that he has come where he has to this point. Like he's one of those guys that seem like, yeah, he's great on the indies, but there's no way WWE would see that level of value in him. So to see both his body transformation and how WWE has basically endorsed him saying, not only are we going to sign you, bring you up to the main roster, we're, we're going to give you this amazing Royal Rumble run and I see title reign that very few people get to enjoy and anytime someone can do and I'm going to probably mention this later with another match anytime someone can do what you think of as being trivial moves but make them impactful and make them impressive what more could you want I mean the your limiting injury risk your really just keeping it simple and not blowing a bunch of spots in one match. And it's still amazing. Like every Gunther match is enjoyable when, you know, the the vast majority of it is him just brutalizing people with chops and clotheslines and whatnot. German suplexes. Like it's not rewriting how to wrestle. It's, it's basic, but it's, it's effective. I think like Jim Cornette says, it's really the modern take on a classic wrestling match. It is what modern, what at least he would like to believe is could be modern wrestling today. Chris, obviously Gunther really impressive. Drew McIntyre is an interesting case because of course he just came back, challenged Gunther lost a lot of talk about his contract situation and what that will look like going into 2024. What do you think will be next for Drew McIntyre and your thoughts overall on the match? Uh, Drew McIntyre, I don't think this is going to hurt him that much just coming back uh, and losing. Because, I mean, if you're going to lose to anybody, you would prefer it to be the guy that's about to break the overall record for the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, As far as where he goes, I couldn't really say, honestly. Uh, Without any sort of build-up going into any kind of storyline, it seems like he's kind of just there right now but it'll be interesting to see if he tries to jump into any of the active storylines we brought up you know uh jumping into the roman reign storyline or you know damian priest and his uh briefcase as far as the the match overall uh this was my first time actually getting to sit down and watch a full gunther match i mean i've I've heard about him uh i haven't watched a pay-per-view ironically since last year's SummerSlam. (laughs) so getting to sit down and watch a full match of him and not just clips uh i was very impressed i know mike mentioned you know he keeps it simple and clearly he does but i also think he really goes back and it just seems like a classic wrestling match like you mentioned I, i love seeing a guy that can just go back and use a power bomb as a finishing move. I've brought it before. I love people that will go back and just use a DDT, but uh, he brings something special that in that you don't know necessarily how he might end a match. He doesn't have just that one finishing move. You know, he might do a frog splash or we just saw him finish it with a Boston crab the other day. Uh, I just love that classic wrestling. 
Yeah, it's definitely a throwback, and I think it also makes his matches more unpredictable because you don't ever know where the finish is coming from. In this case, it was pretty obvious because he hit two or three big impact moves in a row and that finished it off, but it is something different in this day and age of sometimes spam finishers where it's the NXT style, but it's not. that's really a little unfair to NXT. It just That's kind of where I know from. I think of like Cole Gargano where it was like one kick out after another <laughs> from a finish, but it, it's certainly the indie style where... You know, one finish isn't enough. You got to hit 10 of them, and then finally you'll finish them off. Gunther, one big power bomb. That might be it, or a clothesline. And even with WWE, they've had, okay, this is the one move that this guy uses to finish matches, nothing else. And, you know, much to Chris's point, it's like I've seen Gunther win a match with a clothesline and a power bomb and a splash off the top. And, like, it would be the equivalent of Bret Hart beating someone right after the inverted atomic drop. Like that doesn't happen. Like that's not when he pins the guy, but with Gunther, it can happen. It certainly makes his matches really stand out across all of professional wrestling right now. 